Hello, my friends, and welcome to Helium Rain, one of my most anticipated games of the last few years. Very, very excited about it. I already have six hours into the early access version, which, if you know me, is a lot, because I don't like toying with early access too much. Uh, but this game is fantastic. Uh, a couple of things of note. I have a new monitor. Uh, I'm running this uh, on my new Asus 27-inch 1440p monitor, so this is the first game I am running uh, for a Let's Play in uh, 1440p. I've turned it down a little bit because, you know, I'm still running a GTX 770 because, uh, because, um, sorry, because, you know, I turned things, I didn't think it would, I mean, it seemed to run everything okay. It, it, look at that. I mean, it still looks amazing and it runs great, but I didn't want to push my luck. So I just turned it down a little bit. It still looks amazing. Um, but I'm still downscaling these videos to 720 because that's what YouTube seems to want. Um, if you uh, have any complaints about that, please let me know in the comments. I could probably scale down to 1080 now, I guess. Um, well, I will, maybe um, with the new computer. Uh, so I've been playing this um, this company for a little while, but we're going to start a new company for... Oh, the other thing is, because of these new monitors, I had to move my microphone a bit. So hopefully I sound okay. If I don't, please let me know. But um, I've done live testing and a lot of maneuvering and a lot of tweaking, so I'm hoping I still sound okay. But if not, again, please let me know in the comments. So we're going to start a new company... And uh, you should be able to read that. But 29i2, the telescope gas giant, b Hydri, 24 light years away from Earth. It's close enough to be in human reach. First interstellar colonial carrier Daedalus leaves Earth orbit in 2107. So 80, about 80, oh, nine, no, how many years from now? 90? Rush? I can't do math. Um... 2230, the uh, Daedalus enters orbit. The moons are barren, wastelands, unable to support life. Some colonists attempt to return to Earth, only to meet opposition. The carrier is destroyed in the fight. And then life goes on as the colonial government is broken down. Companies remain. Life goes on in relative peace. So we are going to do the training stuff because you need to see that for one thing. So let's let's look at the emblems. Let's see. I like that one. Can I change the color? Doesn't look like I can. Um so I'm gonna call this let's play um, uh, incorporated LPI. Oh, we can. Oh, we can change the colors. Um, I actually like the orange. I actually like the orange. Well, hang on. Let's see. Uh, how does that look? Ooh, I kind of like that. That is awesome. And no, I actually like the white. I actually. I actually dig that contrast. I like the orange. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's start. So now we're now the game. Uh, you don't have to start with this tutorial because it's a let's play, and I want you to see this. Uh, the game is very good about getting you to play to to teaching you how to play it. You can use a joystick if you want, but I prefer WASD because it's a little more precise. So uh, W moves you forward, and then S moves you back. Very intuitive. Oh, and then you can also go backwards. And you could all and then but the mouse uh, the mouse moves you left and right and then Q and E do rolling and then you also have up with the shift and down with the control again very intuitive. And 
Now I got a little waypoint flying. The waypoints are kind of in a straight line, so it's not really, well, for me, it's not a challenge, but you know, it's good to, uh, this is good for new pilots who are interested in the game, but really don't know much, might know much about space flight. I have to say the flight is very intuitive, very, like what you would expect from a futuristic craft. It makes it simple. Like the computer does a lot of, like you tell the ship where you want it to go and the computer does a lot of the minute adjustments, which you know, makes sense for a futuristic spacecraft. Plus, isn't this gorgeous? I think it's gorgeous. Looks a little dark on OBS, actually. I don't know if I can do much about that. All right, now I need to travel between sectors. So, open up the uh, orbital map. See, here's our... Um, hang on, let's stop. Come on, there we go. Now, we have a menu that we can pick just by right-clicking. It gives you access to everything. Isn't that great? So we're going to do the orbital map. We're going to go to the depths and we're going to travel there. Boink. And we're going to fast forward. Uh, okay. So right now we don't have an autopilot. So... We're going to have to dock manually. Target the Callisto mine. Where are you? There we go. Target the Stefano mine. There it is. Okay, so approach the Stefano mine. We're going to dock, and right now, docking is done manually. So it's a little funky. It's not difficult, it's just a little challenging, which I like. It requires, like, every facet. Oh yeah, W A uh, the A and D keys make you move laterally, which is... So you got the up, you got the down. And th as you can see, there's a little, little uh, circle on the HUD denoting exactly where you're pointing. See, as I move, that's so pretty great. <clears throat> All right, so now we're approaching. Asteroids are real pretty. Getting close. Just to probably start to slow down in a minute. Yeah, there we go. Uh, look how it's look how it's uh, Okay, now approach the docking port, which is fifth, which is which is one of those blinky things. I don't know if you can see that. I'll be quiet. Ah, here we go. Okay, I don't know if you can hear all that. I apologize. Now we get to dock. <clears throat> See the computer there? See the docking computer? Getting there. We're 
to get in there. See, this is tricky, like I said. Not too tricky. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Got it. All right. See, once you get the autopilot, you're not going to have to do that again against the, unless the autopilot gets knocked out. But, uh, okay, so now we get to undock, hold the middle mouse button, and then we, uh, nope, then we undock, here we go. All right, travel to other sectors and accept a contract. All right, let's, uh, let's travel to, uh, I like Lighthouse, let's go to Lighthouse. Gonna travel there real quick, fast forward. Everything works. Uh, everything works in a, a day at a time. So as you saw, you can skip one day if you want to stay. If you're waiting for something like a ship to be built or something, you can skip a day. You can fast forward. If you're traveling somewhere, it's going to take like three to six days. You can fast forward. It's pretty nice. So now let's open the contracts. And look, we have a contract. Uh, let's see. I really hate the contracts where they make you buy the stuff and then sell the stuff. I like these contracts. You're just docking at a place and picking up a guy. So we're going to accept uh, this contract. Track it. And then... Let's see. So where are we going? Let's see. Ah. Okay. Okay. We don't have an autopilot. Okay, but we've targeted it at least. So that's where we're going. So we gotta pick up this guy. And then we're gonna take him where he needs to be. I always enjoy taxi contracts in games like this. I don't know why, it's kind of fun. Ah. All right. Looks like the docking ports are over here. Yeah, there it is. All right. Oh, almost had it. Sort of. Get a little closer. I'm just gonna let it go in. Whew, all right. Now we head over, now uh, let's see, we gotta go to the spire, all right. Spire, spire, there we go. How many days, four, not too bad. Let's go. Boink. All right, where are we going? Apparently right there. Uh, target. Isn't that neat? Look at that thing. That is a that is some kind of mining operation mining that massive asteroid right there. All right, we are apparently going there. Wee. 
So it seems like the ideal before you get an autopilot that'll dock for you, which is a, a, one hell of a time saver, is uh, get 50 uh, meters from the docking thing. That's where you'll really be able to line up. Now, this is what the tutorial said, so it makes sense. Hey, let's start slowing down. Wee, woo. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, look at that. Alright. Go a little closer. Doink a doink a doink doink. Doink a doink a doink doink. Alright, let's stop. No, no, wrong thing, wrong thing. Okay. Don't, but 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 don't, no, 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 oh, oh, okay, bump, but don't, bump, but don't, bump, but don't, but don't, bump, bump. Nope. There we go. Hoo-ya! And the contract was successful. Complete five contracts to start filling your company's coffers. Okay. Let's see. Food haulage. Buy 20 food. Buy 47 fuel. Spire. Food. Is there food anywhere around here? Hang on. Uh, food. Okay, so the lighthouse has food. Uh, probably like a farm? Ah, a farm. Uh, food is output, so we want to go to lighthouse. So let's take the food contract. Are we in, wait, are we in lighthouse already? Yeah, we're in lighthouse, perfect. Okay, so we're going to go to the farm. Farm, 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 where's the farm? I just saw it. Oh no, we gotta go to the lighthouse. We're in the spire. Okay, so let's go to the lighthouse. Okay, so now we're in lighthouse. There's a farm here. Are we? Oh. Okay, hang on. There we go. Now there's a farm here. Let's see, where's the farm? There's the farm. Oh, look at that. It didn't do that before. It'll tell you, like, oh, look, this is what you need for this. That's really handy. It did not do that before. Okay. Um, so let's dock at the farm. Where are you, farm? Farm, farm, farm. There you are. Five clicks away. See, one of my favorite things about the kind of games like this is missions, and I love that this game has just so many missions to do. Uh, and they don't get boring. Like, if it's interesting, like, a lot of games like this can feel like a grind. You know, like, oh, I have to do all these missions. But, like, if you feel like you're making progress toward a thing, then it's fine. And this game does a good job of making you feel like you're doing progress toward a thing. All right, I missed it, I know. <laughs> Got a little overzealous. Just wait until we can uh, research... Um, just wait until we can research the autopilot. Oh, the autopilot's such a game changer. It's such a game changer. Okay. Is it over there? I'm down. Let's get a little closer. A little closer. A little closer. All right, and we'll stop. Nope, nope, nope. I keep forgetting.
Come on. Oh. There we go. Let's just... <sighs> I'll tell, I will tell you what, docking is really satisfying. Oh! I thought I was lined up. Alright, fine. Okay, come on. I thought I was lined up. That's annoying. Come on. Oh, jeez. All right, so we're gonna buy food. There we go. Gonna buy the food. And I love how it tells you, oh, you need to buy 20. It like knows what your contract is and just gives you that amount. Lots of great usability. So we're going to sell 20 food at the forge. Forge, forge, forge. Forge, forge, forge. Where's the forge? There's the forge. Travel. Blink. Fast forward. Blink. You don't even have to undock. It, like, knows that's what you want to do, and it just does it. All right. So now we're going to... Uh, okay, so we're at the forge. Sunhab Mimas Habitat. There it is. Target. Let's dock. There we go. Oh, 13 clicks away. In like many space games, you never want to actually direct aim directly at a thing. You want to aim near a thing. <laughs> that way you don't collide with said thing. Oh, that's a pretty asteroid with the sun coming around it. I don't know if you guys saw that. It looks so dark on OBS. I don't know if that's the monitor or what. I'll have to look at it. It didn't look that dark earlier. Anyway. I like all these other little habitats and their little ships going around. It just feels so lively, you know? They've done such a great job of making this tiny little universe of all these little sectors. And you'll discover more as we go, like around those other plants and what, excuse me, and whatnot. All right, let's slow it down. Let's not get overzealous like we did last time. It's so easy to be impatient and just go, I want to speed. And speed is great, don't get me wrong. But precision is also great. Where is their docking? Look at that, look at that thing. That is beautiful. Ah, oh, it's up here somewhere. Ah, oh, where are they going to put me? All right. Right there. All right, let's get a little closer. That was a neat sound, though, when I bumped a few minutes ago. It was a really nice dunk sound. I really like that. All right, let's come to a stop. And let's bring it over. Nope. Come on. There we go. And let's angle. Okay, so now we got the right angle. And then we're gonna get the right lateral. Good. And now we gotta keep an eye on this. Because apparently it can change as you approach, so. <laughs> I was looking at something else last time. But it looks like we're gonna be okay. I think. I hope. Hi, Harry. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, and then we're going to sell the food. Yes. No, Harry, I can't pick you up right now. I'm busy making money. Okay. All right, let's look at more contracts. Oh, lots of them. 
Is that Ilea? Like from Star Trek? <laughs> oh, I gotta pick her up. Um, where are you going? Hang on. You're going to the forge. Oh no, I'm picking you up at the forge. But where are you going? I don't know where you're going. Uh, hang on. Oh, to Knight's Home. Where the hell is Knight's Home? And where are you going? No, you're going to the forge. Hey, wait. I'm picking you up at the forge. And... Oh, and you're going from Lighthouse. Well, that's two contracts. Why not? Let's just do it. We're going to do this one first. Oh, wait. So wait, from the forge, I'm in the forge. So, okay, so hang on, you can, you can take multiple contracts. Let's try this. So do I have the, I don't know, the cargo. Yeah, so. So, okay, hang on. Sell 20 electronics. All right. Nope, nope, nope. Where's electronics? Electronics. Oh, God, I don't know where electronics is. I'm going to have to do that one later. That's The nice thing about these contracts um, is that there's no... They used to have a time period, like you have to do this in five days, and that was just so stressful. You know, it was so stressful. So now, thankfully, we don't have to do that anymore. So now we're going to do, let's see, from the forge. And then, oh, so we should get Bob first. Because we're taking Elias to the forge and then forge to, okay, so let's go get Bob first uh, from Lighthouse. So we're going to go to Lighthouse, apparently. Lighthouse, Lighthouse, Lighthouse. Travel, travel, travel. Six days, six days, six days. All right. And I gotta pick up Bob. Harry, I can't pick you up right now. I'm busy. I'm... Harry's my ship's cat. I can't pick you up right now, you silly cat. Because I'm busy making the monies for our new company. Uh, okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where's the thing? I don't see it. Where? Oh. Oh. It's like nowhere near all the other stuff. Okay. Whee! Harry, I'm sorry. I'm busy. Oh my god, you're so cute though. Oh. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, whoops, whoops, whoops. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> I don't know where that, okay. Well, other side, apparently. A little too far. All right, hang on, jeez. Jeez Louise, okay. Oh. So apparently I can't dock just yet because someone else is docking. Fine. Don't you have another docking port I can dock at? No? Ugh, fine. Guess I'll wait a minute. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Though I like... I've, I, I've, I've always... I've really wanted a game where you're, you're in a holding pattern. You know, I do enjoy that. Come on, buddy. That's the only docking port apparently that they have, or that the only that they're giving me, and I have to dock there. There you go. Thank you. All right, let's get close enough. Oh, geez, that was close. Woo! Whoops! 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 Did not intend that. Wee! 
I am a stop. Nope, nope, Okay, so now we're going to go back to the forge, <laughs> love forge, um, and do I have enough research points yet? Uh, oh, hey, do it, oh, I didn't realize I had enough research points. Now, oh, now you guys get to see the auto docking. Oh, save time. Ha ha ha, here we go. Yay! This saves so much time. Seriously. Seriously, you guys. Like, seriously. So much time. Okay, so, uh, while it's doing that, um, I need electronics. Have we found electronics yet? Oh, apparently has electronics. We have to, we have to go around and find some electronics. We have to figure that out. So see the, see it says auto right there. It saves you so much time. I'm, I'm, I don't know why they don't give you this right off the bat, but I guess it's to kind of teach you. It is going to be part of the tutorial. See, see, this thing is doing it so much faster than I ever could. Look at this. It's coming in much hotter than I ever would. But, boom. Doinky doink. Done. Was that the same station we drove? Oh, wow, look at that. It was the same station. I didn't even realize that. That's really funny. Okay. Um, uh, nope, we're going to track that one. So where are we going? Uh, Knight's Home. I don't think we've been there yet. Uh, I don't know if we've been there yet. Let's go. Seven days, a full week. And I haven't gotten to a point yet where anything can interrupt you on the way. Uh, excuse me. All right, so um, doo -doo -doo, we're going there. I don't even know if we had a target. Unknown signal detected. That's going to come into play later. I actually want to see what that is now. Oh, look, another ship's docking in one of the other ports. I like that. There's no... I, I kind of wish there was some kind of chatter between ships. But that's okay. So we're going to stop this entry uh, now. It's been a little over half an hour. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty great so far, huh? So uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you for whatever's next. Bye-bye.